Uh, my name is John Howell. I'm retired Air Force, and I am a cancer survivor. It's a fairly difficult situation. Uh, the C word is not a word anybody wants to hear. Um, my father had had prostate cancer, and my grandfather, so I was aware of what they had gone through. But when it's yourself, uh, when, when it's you that gets the diagnosis, um, you spend some time trying to process it. John Howell ended up at a urologic office uh, to see me for uh, an elevated PSA. That uh, prompted a prostate biopsy, which uh, diagnosed him with prostate cancer. He gave me three options. Uh, he gave me radiation, uh, my father had had the uh, seeds implanted, so I knew about some about the radiation. He gave me a, a second option of watch and wait because the numbers weren't that, that high. And he made it clear to me that it's a slow growing cancer. And the third one was robotic surgery. And I spent time processing those, those three options. Did a lot of praying and I went with Dr. Morrison for the surgery. John had a robotic prostatectomy um, with also removal um, of the lymph nodes in the pelvis. And his outcome afterwards has uh, been excellent. We were able to remove his entire prostate effectively, uh, remove all of the cancer. Um, he's very fortunate that no lymph nodes were involved with his cancer. Subsequently, we were able to reconstruct his urinary system after removing the prostate so that he could return to uh, functionality and uh, continence. The recovery time uh, was faster than I expected. I didn't have uh, urinary incontinence for uh, months. It was weeks that I, I dealt with that issue. I'm back to normal. My father had had prostate cancer and my grandfather, almost identical to mine. I'm in a much better position than they were. I think my best advice would be do your research, make yourself familiar with what's going to happen, spend time discussing the options, and go into it with, uh, with high expectations.